an important muse to communicate. His Grace, the Duke of Basel-Toro, Her Grace, the Duchess, and their beautiful daughter, Casilda. I say, their beautiful daughter, Casilda. We heard you have arrived at Barataria and will be here at any moment. The Duke and Duchess are nothing to us. Oh, but the daughter. <laughs> The beautiful daughter. Oh, you <laughs> lucky daughter. One of you. <laughs> you know, I think you're a very incomprehensible old gentleman. Not a bit. <laughs> I'll explain. Many years ago, when you, whichever you are, were a baby, you, whichever you are, were married to a little girl who has grown up to be the most beautiful young lady in Spain. That beautiful young lady will be here to claim you, whichever you are, in half an hour. And I congratulate that one, whichever it is, with all my heart. Married when a baby? We were married three months ago. One of you. Only one. The other, whichever it is, <laughs> is an unintentional bigamist. But upon my word. <laughs> Who are we? Why, they're wives, of course. We've just arrived. They're wives. Dear, this is very awful. Dear, this complicates matters. Dear, what will the Majesty say? And do you mean to say that one of these monarchs was married already? And that neither of us will be a queen? That is the idea I intended to convey. <laughs> Just a poor, poor girl. Get away! Perhaps it's you. My poor, poor little woman. Don't! Who knows whose husband you are? And pray, why didn't you tell us all about it before they left Venice? <coughs> because if I had, no earthly temptation could have induced these gentlemen to leave two such extremely fascinating and utterly irresistible little babies. <laughs> Suspense. <laughs> the old lady who nursed the royal child is at present in the torture chamber, waiting for me to uh, interview her. <laughs> Poor old girl, hadn't you better go put her out of her suspense? Oh no, there's no hurry, she's all right. She has the annotated works of Gilbert and Sullivan. <laughs>